Would you like to 10X your productivity and stop feeling so overworked and overwhelmed? Welcome to the Extreme Productivity Podcast with New York Times bestselling author and Inc. 500 entrepreneur, Kevin Cruz. Can taking notes in a meeting actually be a bad thing? Kevin Cruz here, and we are going to explore that idea in just a minute. Welcome to the Extreme Productivity Podcast, where I'm going to help you 10x your productivity while reducing that feeling of being so overworked and overwhelmed. In the last episode, we talked about how to increase the productivity on your entire team. And in this episode, we're going to talk about note taking. But first, I want to remind you, there is nothing that is more important to me right now than getting honest reviews on this podcast on iTunes, because then iTunes will know that people care about it and will share the message and will recommend the show to others. It takes about one minute. I hope you'll go to iTunes and leave an honest review for the, Pro the Extreme Productivity Podcast. So I got an email from a reader. Uh, Anne wrote in and said, hey, in your quick guide, you say to take notes. And this is something I've noticed is very much out of style in that I see so many executives here not taking notes, almost like taking notes as a flag that you're not executive material. I'm personally working on taking less notes, so only capturing what I actually really need. Thoughts on that? Anne. So Anne, I gotta, I gotta admit, I was a little shocked. I had never heard of taking notes being a bad thing inside of an organization. I never, I never heard anyone suggest that note taking could be a sign of not being executive material. And as I thought about it, I mean, it's true that I think I remembered reading an, a uh, biography about Bill Gates and he never took notes in meetings and they say it's because he's got a photographic memory and he's just so smart. He doesn't need to. Um, and I've been around some CEOs and one billionaire. I remember, um, <laughs> they didn't take notes themselves, but they had an assistant that just followed them around like a puppy dog with a notebook. And the, the assistant was just scribbling everything down everywhere they went. Um, but you know, I've been, I've worked with dozens of fortune 500 CEOs and C-level leaders, probably, you know, over a hundred entrepreneurs, over a hundred millionaires and they all take notes. I mean, most of them will carry a physical notebook as I do. You know, I like, I like the, the Moleskine notebook, the, the paper-based notebook. A lot of people are now taking notes on iPads or their, their smartphone, uh, which I don't think is as good, but I, I am kind of surprised. I don't know what the culture is or what kind of company you work in, but I will say this as I'm trying to relate a little bit. I think that it's a bad idea to try to transcribe a meeting. So if your note taking has your head down on the laptop or, or in the notebook, jotting down, you know, almost sentence by sentence, every single thing that's going on in the meeting, I could see how the perception is that you're not actually a participant in the meeting or you're not fully actively listening because you're just, you're transcribing, you know, you're listening and typing and not sort of focused, looking people in the eye, thinking things through being a force in the room. Uh, I guess in some places, because many people will assign an official person to take minutes if it's a board meeting, that will be, you know, the, the official secretary or the secretary's assistant. Um, and so, you know, maybe you don't want to cast yourself as the role of note taking assistant, but that's the only thing. I mean, I'm just trying to understand how it could be a bad thing. You know, I think when you say that you want to focus on only capturing what you really need. Yes. I mean, that's the right way to take notes for myself on a phone call or in a meeting, I'm always writing the date and place of the meeting and who else is in the meeting. And there's a lot of times when I think it's important to go back, sometimes looking back, you know, three months ago, six months ago, a year ago, 
and jogging your memory. Hey, was that person in the room when we had that conversation or not? You know, um, didn't we bring this up on that date or not? So a lot of times it just holds people accountable. And I can remember, you know, Richard Branson, billionaire, everybody loves Richard Branson. You know, he says his notebook is the number one tool, number one key to him building Virgin Brands. So, you know, anybody who thinks taking notes is a bad thing, uh, I think just point to Richard's success uh, as a counter argument. But I remember I mean, Richard Branson makes that point that he holds people accountable by, by taking notes from every meeting. Now, in addition to date, place, and people, I really only do four things. You know, I will jot down key points, like a a key decision that is made or a key argument that someone is making. And I'll put a little asterisk. So an asterisk and not the full sentence, just like, you know, kind of chopped up English uh, shorthand to, to what the key point is. If I have something I need to do, like it's a task, a follow up item, I will write a little open box, like an empty checkbox, and then the item that I need to do. And later I will immediately transfer that to my calendar, but I'll scan for the boxes and move those items into my calendar. Now, if someone in the meeting, we've picked a date, something is due by a certain date, or we've agreed to meet again on a certain date, I'll jot that down with a little circle next to it. So circle to me means a calendar item. And then last, if... um, If there's something sort of urgent, you know, that I need to take action on, I will put an exclamation point, like the the real key one or two things I need to do, or I'm going to be in trouble or the most important thing for me to do as a result of this meeting, I'll put an exclamation point. But in general, it's really just jotting down with little, you know, bullets or asterisks or arrows. Like here's the key points in a meeting. Usually if I'm in a 30 minute meeting, I might have one to three key points, you know, and then if there's a, a follow-up activity, I'll have a little open checkbox or an exclamation mark. So I know to, to look at that and transfer it onto my calendar, but that's it. And I mean, I would encourage you, you know, you show the way you be the change agent. There's no shame in being a note taker and carrying a notebook, but make sure you're not doing it in a way where you're transcribing word for word, just jot down what you need. So I hope everybody enjoyed that quick clarification on note taking in business in your organization. I hope you'll visit kevincruz.com when you get a chance to sign up for my weekly newsletter so you can keep getting tips and advice uh, once a week. I won't, uh, I won't pound you more than that. kevincruz.com. Until next week, remember, master your minutes to master your life.